Kowalski. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. It's a heavyweight clash between Bruce Lee and Isaac Ice Cold Frost. Well, this fighter has read the Marquess of Queensbury rules cover to cover. Truly one of the best boxers we have in the UFC today. And he works everything off of that jab. Oh, yeah, the jab is what got him to the show. He is just a phenomenal boxer. And, John, I love you throwing out the Queensberry uh -oh. rules in the walkout for this man because he signifies everything that is boxing. He's a guy that loves the sport. He wanted to take boxing on his back and bring it to mixed martial arts to show that it, it is as an effective form of combat as anything else. He said, I'll walk away from an Olympic opportunity to take my sport into the octagon and show that we are the best fighters in the world. And he's done that to this point in the UFC. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes. would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart, with big differences in height, but some differences in reach. Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 254 pounds. Fighting out of San Diego, California, Iceman. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. Fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand. 
it's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach. Well, he continues to stay busy, and he continues to land with volume punches here. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. Nice strike. Both guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early going. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Nice knee to the midsection there. Oh, big right hand, yes. Big kick lands. Oh! All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, and he is getting tagged repeatedly. Nice combination of strikes up top. Oh, beautiful combination of top. I don't understand why the guy is not moving his head. Get your head moving, son. Oh, did you believe that another head kick lands? Got to start raising that guard or this is going to be the end of the fight. I mean, it's going to be the end of the fight. It's very surprising that he's even standing upright after taking such a bad shot. Big elbow there. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He landed a massive hook to put his opponent on wobbly legs. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. Huge block there. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. So a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. Look at the turtle in that kick. Ooh, head kick lands with hurt. Big head kick. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. Lee going for the head kick. He misses there. Nice punch lands over the top. Everything works off of the jab. Doubles up on it there. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. All right, here we go with our next round. Shades of Tony Ferguson in the previous Ready? round. It's hard to hit a moving target, and he wasn't stationary at all. It's never stationary. His head movement just flows. It's not that he's standing still, head still, and then all of a sudden he moves left, or he moves right. It's constantly just bobbing and weaving a little bit. He's like an old school grandfather clock, where he's just moving left to right, left to right. It's never stationary, so you never choose to get a bead on where the target is going to be. Look at you dropping a grandfather clock. I'm an old guy, huh? I'm an old guy. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the ball. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas. He's landed a big kick there. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Oh, oh he's off the guard. Now his opponent's really on the ropes. His opponent's on beat street. He's hurt so bad. I don't know what he's going to do to stay in this fight. Beautiful kick. Oh, 
Taylor slips to avoid the right. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Whoa! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, straight right. Oh! Back to the feet. Oh! Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Look at him whip his hips into that kick. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Oh, caught him with a head kick. That at least partially landed. Oh, my goodness. He got kicked in the head, and he's still standing. He's stitching him over and over again. He's got his head popping back. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. All right, great position for him here. He's got the full mount. See if he can get that ground and pound going. Oh, he's got to get it going, but he can't rush. A lot of times, guys get in the full mount and they rush, they get nervous. They're like, oh my goodness, I'm winning. Reality is, you're winning, but it can change in a matter of seconds because then they can be gone. He's got to drop his hips, be really heavy at the opponent's base, and then just start to work. Make the opponent give his back so that he can try to get his chokes off or find great ground and pound, but very patient ground and pound in such a dominant position. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. You see, here's a replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal, and if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. Just missed with the left there. Able to check that kick as well. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. He's going after the head. I am there. Right the I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he doesn't know where he is. He's hurt real bad. That punch landed in the perfect spot. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? And he landed the right hand there. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Wow! He got him back! He's got him hurt here. Back to the feet. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Just unable to quite find that range. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Hands high, hands high. Oh! What a punch. Big head kick. He's got to go chase that finish down now. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish. Back to his feet yet again. Oh, but not a good look for the judges here. Look how wobbly he is. 
All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Side control now. Elbow now to the head. That one landed by Lee. All right, so he gets knocked down, but not out. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. A huge round on the other side. He had him hurt very bad. He found the shot. He got exactly what he wanted. When he saw the opening, he jumped on it, and he hurt his opponent very bad. If he can get back to that one more time, he may end the night. All right, it's nothing. It's nothing. You've been knocked down before. You can pull this one out like you've done before, okay? All right? All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat. Both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high. And oh, he's hurt. He's hurt away. Bad. Well, he's up, but oh, is he hurt. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace. Oh! He's hurt. He's hurt. He's hurt. Come Go get him. Back to the feet. Block, no damage there. Oh! He wiped him out. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at one minute of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Iceman. 